The University of Missouri College of Engineering is one of the 19 academic schools and colleges of the University of Missouri. The college traces its beginning to the first engineering courses taught west of the Mississippi River in 1849. The college awards bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees. The college is ranked 88th nationally by the U.S. News and World Report. Topic. History In 1849, the University of Missouri offered the first collegiate engineering course west of the Mississippi River, a civil engineering course focusing on surveying, leveling and classical topography, taught by the university's acting president, William Wilson Hudson. Hudson would go on to become the first chair of civil engineering in 1856, and the Board of Curators officially would create a school of civil engineering in 1859 before losing it in an organizational reshuffling in 1860. The Morrill Land Grant Acts, the first of which passed in 1862 and accepted by the state of Missouri the following year, provided space for institutions with specialties in agriculture and engineering. By the end of the 1860s, the University of Missouri had departments of civil and military engineering, and in 1871, the School of Engineering was incorporated by the College of Agriculture as a special department before separating into its own institution in 1877 with Thomas J. Lowry as its first dean. The building that eventually would become the current Thomas and Nell Laffaire Hall was constructed in 1893, giving the college its own home. The college would continue to hit landmarks and expand throughout the years, including seeing its first female graduate, A.D.A. Wilson, in 1907, and the creation of the Engineering Library in 1906. Thomas Edison gave the university an electric dynamo and incandescent lamps in 1882, and in 1885, the college created a Department of Electrical Engineering. Mechanical Engineering came next in 1891. Chemical engineering debuted as a department in 1903, with bioengineering following in 1917, industrial and manufacturing systems engineering in 1958 and nuclear engineering in 1964. Computer science moved from the College of Arts and Science to engineering in 1995, with the information technology program launching in 2005. In 2018, MU became the first public university in the state to offer a degree in biomedical engineering. That same year, Mizzou Engineering would combine its strengths in the bioengineering and chemical engineering fields to form the Joint Biomedical, Biological and Chemical Engineering Department, overseen by both Engineering and the College of Agriculture, Food and Natural Resources. On August 15, 2015, the University and the College of Engineering announced the hiring of the college's 11th full time dean, Elizabeth Leboa, who previously served as Associate Chair and Professor of the Joint Department of Biomedical Engineering at University. University of North Carolina Chapel Hill and North Carolina State University, and a professor of materials science and engineering at North Carolina State. Leboa began her tenure on October 15 and is the first female dean in the history of the college. Mizzou Engineering is one of fewer than 65 engineering colleges in the U.S. with a female dean as of 2018. Topic. About. Topic academics As of the end of the 2017-18 academic year, the MU College of Engineering has a total enrollment of 3,207 students, 2,724 undergraduates, 190 master's students and 283 doctoral candidates. The average freshman ACT score for College of Engineering students is 29.2. The college's 10 undergraduate degree programs had their ABET accreditation renewed in 2018. For the 2017-18 academic year, total scholarship money totaled more than $1.3 million. The average starting salary for a Mizzou Engineering alumnus is $61,315 as of 2018. More than 50 student organizations and design teams are affiliated with the college, several of which regularly win awards and accolades either from the University of Missouri or their national chapters. The total amount of faculty is 113, and the college has more than 38,000 living alumni, more than 500 of which currently serve as owners, presidents, or CEOs of companies 
degrees in industry. Mizzou Engineering offers degrees in ten undergraduate, eight masters, and seven doctoral programs. The undergraduate degree programs are Bioengineering, Biomedical Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Engineering, Computer Science, Electrical Engineering, Industrial Engineering, Information Technology, Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Graduate degrees are awarded in the following disciplines Bioengineering, Chemical Engineering, Civil and Environmental Engineering, Computer Science, Electrical and Computer Engineering, Industrial Manufacturing and Systems Engineering, Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering, Data Science and Analytics Mizu Engineering will begin offering a fully online master's degree in both bioengineering and industrial engineering and a bachelor's in information technology beginning in 2019, and the college already offers a wide variety of online courses in various disciplines. Research In the last year, Mizzou Engineering has raised its number of awarded research grants by 32%, including grants from the National Science Foundation, National Institutes of Health, Department of Energy, Department of Defense and many more. Topic educating engineering leaders Alumni of the college include the following, Mike Brown, Euronet Worldwide Chairman, President and CEO Peggy Cheung, Panda Express Co-Founder, Number 12 on Forbes 2016, America's Richest Self-Made Women, Steve Edwards, Black & VH CEO, 2015 Kansas City Business Journal Power 100 Jim Fittling, Dow Chemical Company President and COO of the Materials Science Division of Dow DuPont David Hafner, Leggett & Platt CEO and Chairman retired. U.S. Senator Martin Heinrich New Mexico, Kelly King, AT&T President of Mobility and Consumer Market for South Central U.S. Ray Kowalik, Burns & McDonnell CEO, 2016 Kansas City Business Journal Power 100 Thompson Lynn, Applied Optoelectronics Inc. Founder, Chairman and CEO Michael Melton, TME Enterprises President and CEO Jim O'Neill, The Boeing Co., President of Defense Space and Security Development and St. Louis Senior Executive Retired Daniel O'Shaughnessy, Mission Systems Engineer position at Johns Hopkins University's Applied Physics Lab for the NASA Messenger Mercury Surface, Space Environment, Geochemistry and Ranging, Program Christine Pearson, Nexcon Technology Solutions Managing Partner Roger O'Reilly, Scottrade Inc. Founder, Owner, President and CEO, named to Forbes 2016 America's Best Midsize Employers List William F. Baker, Structural Engineering Partner at Skidmore, Owings & Merrill LLP David D. Casey Co-founder of Garmin International, Inc. Retired, Jeffrey Davis, Chairman, President and CEO at Perficient, Inc. William S. Thompson, CEO of Pacific Investment Management Retired, Amit Mida, President, Asia Pacific and Japan Commercial at Delhi MC Mosin Sohi, CEO, Speaker of the Management Board at Freudenberg & Co. Topic. Engineers Week The tradition of celebrating St. Patrick as the patron saint of engineers began at Mizzou Engineering. From its beginnings the tradition spread to the offshoot of the university that eventually became the Missouri University of Science and Technology. Today, it is celebrated on campuses nationwide. The concept began at the University of Missouri with the discovery that St. Patrick was an engineer in 1903. As former Dean Huber O. Croft wrote in a Brief History of the College of Engineering, University of Missouri-Columbia. It was on a warm spring day in March 1903, perhaps as the result of a severe case of spring fever, that the students decided an unbearably long period stretched between officially authorized holidays. They therefore declared their own holiday on St. Patrick's Day, March 17. It was on this day that the whimsical discovery was made, or perhaps it should be called a useful invention, that Erin Go Bra, Island Forever, somewhat loosely translated, meant, St. Patrick was an engineer. Thenceforth, the good saint became the patron saint of all engineers. To corroborate St. Pat's engineerhood, he was later credited in song with inventing the switch to switch the snakes out of Ireland, the worm drive, and the calculus for engineers to cuss. By 1905, the event grew to include a parade and kowtow to a student dressed as St. Patrick, the latter a tradition that continues to this day. 
Several lasting traditions of Engineers Week began by 1906, including the Engineers Song, St. Patrick's Ball, the Knighting Ceremony, and the discovery of the Blarney Stone. Since the early days, Engineers Week has grown to include the Green Tea Ceremony, lighting the dome of Jesse Hall Green, the tradition of night candidates being required to carry large, ornate shillelaghs at all times, and more. St. Patrick and the Shamrock have become symbols of the Mew College of Engineering, and legend has it that anyone who walks across the Shamrock painted in the courtyard of Lafayre Hall is destined to one day marry an engineer. Topic. Buildings Thomas and Nell Lafayre Hall is the main building of the Mew College of Engineering, with F. Robert and Patricia Nacker Hall and Engineering Building North providing additional classroom, laboratory and office space. Lafayre Hall has been named for College of Engineering alumnus Thomas Lafayre and his wife, Nell, since 2004. The original buildings that provide the foundation of what is now Lafayre Hall were built in 1892 and 1893, with additions constructed in 1935, 1944, 1958, 1991, and 2009. In 2014, the state of Missouri's Board of Public Buildings Governor Jay Nixon, Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder, and Attorney General Chris Costa approved $38.5 million in bonds issued by the Missouri General Assembly for renovations and repairs to Lafayre Hall. Demolition of the 1935 and 1944 sections of the building began in May 2015, and the project is expected to be finished by December 2016. The renovation will allow for space to accommodate student competition teams, student conference rooms and study spaces on the main floor, alongside expanded laboratory space to better accommodate research. The building's various additions will be connected, and the project will make the entire building accessible according to the guidelines set forth by the Americans with Disabilities Act. The college held a ribbon cutting for the newly renovation section of the building in December 2016. Nacker Hall, formerly Engineering Building West, was renamed for College of Engineering alumnus F. Robert Nacker and his wife, Patricia, in 2016. Nacker is considered the father of stealth technology and was a former chief scientist of the United States Air Force. Topic. Rankings U.S. News & World Report's Best Engineering Schools, No. 88 2017.